Online sports gaming may be part of the solution to solving Nebraska's property tax puzzle. Currently, mobile wagering can only be done in person at licensed facilities. But KETV Investigates has learned gaming officials want the governor to include mobile sports wagering in his official call for a special session July 25th. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Zaki has the details. Allowing Nebraskans to place a sports bet on their phone or mobile device could dial up an additional $30 million a year for property tax relief. That's something gaming officials would like the governor and lawmakers to consider when they return for a special session July 25th. That is um, additive. It's not a tax shift, and we've been proposing that to be part of this special session. Lance Morgan of Ho-Chunk, Inc., which operates Warhorse Casinos in Lincoln, Omaha, and Sioux City, says they've been providing state leaders with information. We did a poll and 65% of the Nebraskans support it. It would take 30 votes from lawmakers to approve placing a constitutional amendment on the November ballot. It would let voters decide whether to allow mobile sports wagering. The revenues would go for property tax relief. In a KETV Investigate story, the governor told Bill Shammert he is in favor of it, and State Senator Terrell McKinney said it makes sense because people are currently crossing into Iowa where it's legal to place a bet. Miss revenue that we're just missing out on because we just want to be the nanny state. Pillen says he doesn't like the idea of online sports betting, but told KETV Nebraska's missing out on too much revenue. Governor Pillen wants to see property taxes cut in half. It would take about $1.8 billion to do it. In his town halls, he has called for spending cuts through efficiencies, sin tax increases, and broadening the tax base. Considering the other options that have been floated around in the news, uh, I certainly think that this is a much more palatable way to raise money. Because it would require a ballot issue, the special session gives lawmakers a window to allow voters to decide. We would not have another opportunity until November of 2026. And it might give a governor looking for property tax relief another option. I don't think he necessarily supports uh, gambling per se, but he does support property tax relief and finding innovative ways to do it. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.